Now to another developing story. CBS News today fired Jeff Fager, the executive producer of 60 Minutes, who'd spent 36 years at the network. In less than a year now, three of the most powerful men in broadcasting. Fager, CBS chairman and CEO Leslie Moonves, and CBS This Morning co-host Charlie Rose, all accused of sexual misconduct, have either been fired or resigned. Jerika Duncan has the latest on Fager, including his controversial text message. Jeff Fager, the executive producer of the oldest and most successful news magazine program in history, 60 Minutes, was fired from CBS News this afternoon. In its more than 50 years on air, only two Everybody people ready? have led that broadcast. Fager succeeded the show's creator, yeah, Don yeah. Hewitt, in 2004. Yeah, Fager also great. recently yeah. served as the chairman of the CBS oh, News yeah. Division. When we cover a story and report it on Sunday night and it has impact on Monday morning, that's what you hope for. Fager hired Charlie Rose for multiple roles at the network. In November, Rose was terminated. This July, six female former CBS employees told The New Yorker Fager would touch employees in ways that made them uncomfortable after drinking at office parties. Nineteen current and former employees told The New Yorker Fager allowed harassment in the division. Fager vehemently denied all of those claims. Fager continued to come to work. On Sunday, The New Yorker reported a new accuser said she felt compelled to speak because she simply can't believe Fager is back there. The article described her as a producer who was an intern at CBS in the early 2000s who said that he groped her at a work party. In response to that allegation, Fager told CBS News, this is an outrageous claim and it didn't happen. It is wrong. Fager's departure comes days after CBS chairman and CEO Leslie Moonves resigned following allegations of sexual assault and harassment. We caught up with CBS News president David Rhodes today after he briefed the 60 Minutes staff. Can't talk to you guys about uh, this today. In a statement today, Rhodes said Fager's dismissal is not directly related to the allegations surfaced in press reports, which continue to be investigated independently. However, he violated company policy, and it is our commitment to uphold those policies. Through his attorney, Fager told CBS News, they terminated my contract early because I sent a text message to one of our own CBS reporters demanding that she be fair in covering the story. My language was harsh. CBS did not like it. I am that reporter. Since Jeff Fager publicly referred to our exchange today, I want to be transparent about it. First, here's some background. Sunday evening, I reached out to Fager for comment on the articles alleging he groped or touched CBS employees at company parties. In addition to denying these charges, Fager in a text said to me, quote, if you repeat these false accusations without any of your own reporting to back them up, you will be held responsible for harming me. He went on to say, be careful. There are people who lost their jobs trying to harm me, and if you pass on these damaging claims without your own reporting to back them up, that will become a serious problem. 60 Minutes will enter its 51st season under the leadership of executive editor Bill Owens while the search for a new executive producer begins. Jeff? Sharika, you and I have talked about how incredibly difficult covering this story has been for you. You've been on this uh, since the beginning. You've done uh, great work. It, it's difficult enough without dealing with this. That message was unacceptable. I think it's important for you to know, for everyone to know back there, that I, we, the entire team at Evening News supports you 100%. So, Jerika, thank you. Thank you.